too dirty. All right, now, as far as backends, there are a lot of different ways to make a backend. So I'm going to show you how I made the build based on what I wanted it to do. I wanted to be able to guard the centers. If I'm being honest, I wanted to be the big without really being a big. But if it comes to that, I can do that. That was my envision with the build. So people who make power forward that can dribble and all that, bro, that was not my intentions. If that's your intentions, you make that. You do what you want with your build. I'm going to first show you how I made my build. And then I'm going to show you some things that I would tweak after getting my build to a 99 overall. First off, power forward. All right. If you want to be center, you could be center. If you want to be a small forward, you could do that. 6'8", max wingspan. And then you want to drop your weight all the way until you get the 91 strength. 232 is just enough for me to get that 91 strength and have a 86 speed or 81 agility first thing we need to get out the way the three-pointer max that bad boy out if you want to go higher you can go higher this was the to get set shooter specialist silver all right so that's why i went with that free throw a lot of people don't put free throws on their builds i would say at least 70 pass accuracy there's a lot of people who think you need to have like a, a 75 i promise you you don't but you do have to be very smart with your passing because that bitch is slow don't get me wrong it is slow but I, when i tell you this right now i don't know what it is bro but the bitches get there regardless it's just that it's gonna take a long ass time and probably by that time somebody is already gonna steal that motherfucker i didn't had a lot of touchdown passes on with this motherfucker and i got it at a 70 70 is the absolute lowest that i will ever go speed with ball a 50 same as ball handle a 50 the interior an 82 and that's going to be for post move lockdown silver let me go down to my strength max that bad boy out all right agility 71 speed 80 i went 85 and that is for as you see go interceptor perimeter defense i went with a 74 you get challenger on ball menace hit dodger bronze and also immovable enforcer i'm not gonna cat that motherfucker I, it, I ain't gonna say it pops up a lot but the way i'll be getting cutoffs on a lot of motherfuckers bro you would think that i'm a lockdown bro I, at times i can guard point guards now if you include screens into it maybe not though but i'm fast enough to keep up with guards and get bumpy with the guards and then my block and all that will contribute to getting me to stop does it work every time and depending on how fast that guard is it's probably not your best interest but you can all right if you really wanted to guard guards with this build put your agility up that's your lateral movement all right as i said i wanted to guard bigs more than i wanted to guard guards but somehow in the process of me making like a backup center i was able to clamp up a little bit too all right stand and dunk i went with a 72 and that's going to be for rise up bronze whenever we upgrade our vertical driving dunk you don't have to all right you don't have to put driving dunk up you could put standing up more if the only thing you're going to be 
doing is backdooring people. But me, I wanted to have some dunk and catch lobs. All right. The people who I play with, they throw lobs. So I want to be able to catch lobs. My vertical. A 83 there is a lot of different reasonings as to why a lot of people will say 77 i would say for a 6 8 you should have at least an 80 vertical to try to compete with the centers but i went with 83 to potentially get high fly denier now before i upgrade these i want to let you know if you don't know whenever you hit like superstar three or four you get plus five cat breakers all right then whenever you hit think like legend one or legend two then you get another set i planned on only possibly getting two if that okay maybe one and my thought process was let me save some points and get other things up and then whenever i get my cat breakers then i could upgrade my block and my defensive rebound up to where i want to so with the block i went in 88 now as you see you need a 93 block to get paint patrol gold and if you go plus five you will end up getting it bam that was my thought process now i get blocks but do i get them at the rate that i want to no but i don't think that that is a me issue i think that's just how the game is blocks is crazy but they're not overpowered crazy as you see at 92 i get gold rebound chaser and also pogo stick so for the defensive rebound i went 87 and for the offensive rebound I went 70. That 70 works enough for you to attempt to get put back dunks occasionally. I've only been able to get one, but hey, a put back dunk is a put back dunk. And then the rest, you can do what you want. I put them to my free throw, all right? And also my driving layup. Now, things that I would change. You see how it is right now? You see everything that I get. One thing that I would change is potentially the height. All right, you get a little bit more attributes. Only thing I'm just about to do, change the height, max out the wingspan just to where I still am able to get the 78 three pointer. Go low enough, as low as possible, until I am still able to get that 91 strength. Look, bam, 91 strength. You still get a little tiny bit more. It's not nothing crazy. Maybe the height will help you defend a little bit more. I don't know, but you still do get a little bit more. Now, if you do not plan on hitting the superstar or the legend or whatever, this is how I will make the back end build. I'm gonna still go 6'8. I'm gonna go with everything's the same. Bam, still gonna go with the 70. Put that to 60. If you want that block, bam. Put that to a 77. Only thing I would do different as far as the steal is I would have to sacrifice and go 80 or 79. You can go 79, but I would just choose 80 just because it looks a little better. As I said, I would still definitely go for that 70, but this is what I would start off with. And then you can do whatever you want. If you want, if you still want that driving dunk, you can still get it. You can still get a lot of the stuff that I get, all right? There's really no crazy ass difference. I, I would try to get that high fly denier and get that 80 vertical. But I mean, at that point, what are you willing to sacrifice in order to achieve that? I went from a 70 offensive rebound to a 60. So it's even more, you know what I'm saying? Not really usable. I went down on my free throws. You still get the LeBron dunk package. You still get the uh, contact alley oops. It's just the pro, it's the basic ass ones. Now, if it was me, I would say forget anything that has to do with driving dunking. I just want to do standing dunk and then put that to 81. That's what I would do. And then with the rest, you can still get that 80. And if you want to go, up to 83 you can but as i said that's just me if i was to but as i said i wanted to get driving dunk so i had to do what i had to do to get it whatever you feel like you want to do but this is how i would start off with that build and if you really want to as i said you could put it up to a 6-9 and get a little bit more attribute points than you would at 6-8 and that is the first build that i made on 2k25 and i'll catch you on the next one yes sir